Hi, my name is Nick. Honestly, this video is just a fan video. Uh, I won't be doing any kind of in-depth demo of these pedals, but uh, Moog have uh, just announced that they are discontinuing the Mogerfoger line, and uh, I already have several videos on YouTube of the Mogerfogers, so uh, I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it. To me, the Mogerfogers represented a middle ground between guitars and synthesizers. I'm a guitar player and a bass player. I'm not a piano player, I'm not a synth player but I love synth sounds and I wanted a, a way to have them integrated into my guitar rig. Um, and so right away when I saw a photo of the MF-102 ring modulator, um, the wood panel sides just immediately conjured up this image of analog synthesizers uh, to me and uh, that was the thing that piqued my interest. I bought the MF-102 ring modulator, I loved it, and by the time the Freakbox came out, I remember uh, looking up videos on YouTube for um, how to uh, how to work the Freakbox, how it, what to do with it, and I was not finding the information that I wanted at the time, so I bought the pedal anyway, and I loved it, and so uh, I released my first YouTube video in 2009 uh, of the Freakbox. It was a crappy video, but it seemed to strike a chord with people because suddenly they could understand what what was happening. Um, not that Moog needed me to sell their product for them, but um, I think that that video just struck a chord with people and uh, I started receiving more requests for more videos, especially with the, the uh, Mogerfogers, and uh, my YouTube channel started to take off from there. Since then I've owned other Mogerfoger pedals. I've had the Murph, I've had the Phaser. Uh, regretfully I traded those away, um, but uh, I did get the Cluster Flux and the analog delay, and uh, these are two of my favorite pedals I've ever owned, ever touched. One complaint that I kept receiving from people on YouTube was that the pedals were too expensive. Um, they weren't comfortable paying three to four hundred dollars for a pedal, and, uh, and I don't know if I communicated this well enough in my videos, but I always looked at these pedals as the equivalent of two or three pedals each. So, for example, the ring modulator is the ring modulator sound and a tremolo. Um, the cluster flux is obviously it's a chorus and a flanger together. Um, the analog delay has the analog delay sound, but you can also add the LFO. Uh, and the other thing too is that you have the um, control voltage inputs in the top, so you are able to connect the pedals with each other. Currently, I have the ring modulator LFO plugged into the freak box. Uh, VCO right here. Uh, so now this section is controlling this knob and that's one of my favorite things that I love to do with the freak box and the ring modulator together. Um, I have a, uh, I think this is the EP2, one of the earlier expression pedals, and I like to keep that plugged into the rate knob on the cluster flux because I like doing a, being able to do a lead where I can change the rate on this flanger. Yes, the pedals were expensive, but I feel like the sound quality, the build quality, and the flexibility of all of these pedals, and especially when you owned more than one and you were able to connect them together, I feel like that more than justified the price. As for each of these pedals individually, uh, the Freak Box is the pedal that I tend to use the least, but it tends to have the greatest effect. Um, it's, it's unpredictable, it's, it's a wild card, so whenever I turn it on, in a, in a live situation, I can look out across a room and I can watch people's heads just snap to attention. Uh, what is that? So, um, again, I have, uh, this is the rate knob from the MF-102 into the uh, frequency. The ring modulator, um, just classic outer space sounds. And uh, I loved matching that with a delay. The 
cluster flux. Fogers have been a great resource for inspiration for me over the years, not only as a musician, but uh, as a new engineer. I actually recently just finished a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, and uh, I look back on these pedals as uh, one of the things that made me decide um, I wanted to pursue engineering, actually. I love these devices, and uh, I'm sad to see them go. Um, I'm sad that uh, we won't see any more new Moger Foger pedals uh, from now on. Um, I don't know why Moog have decided to uh, let this line go, but uh, I do hope that they will have uh, some new thing uh, coming up around the corner. Thank you Moog for the Moger Foger pedals. Uh, these incredible devices have completely changed the way that I think about sound. Thank you to all of my viewers who have expressed interest in these pedals over the years and have just continued to comment and watch these videos and encourage me to do more. Thank you. I appreciate you.